Valencia is so rich with history and heritage and you can really feel it walking around the city centre, particularly in Carmen, where you can feel the Roman and Arabic heritage. And there's so many great places to visit. Most of them are free or very affordable. You know, we've got the, the Valencia Cathedral, uh, La Lonja de la Seda, which is the Silk Museum. We've got the City of Arts and Sciences. Uh, there's just so much to explore and see. And then you have your artistic venues. Around the city, there are so many galleries, museums, uh, cultural centres, such as the CCCC, which is a bit of a mouthful. It's the uh, cultural centre of contemporary art in El Carmen. We've got the Move-In Museum. Uh, we've got the Museo de Bellas de Artes. Uh, so artistically, there is so much uh, to see and do here. I think it's so important to come to terms with the social norms and understand the traditions here. I think for me, one of the most important ones is etiquette. So the, the Spanish, particularly Valencians, are incredibly friendly, social and tactile. So while for us it's more natural um, to give a handshake or a hug, here, even if you don't know the person and you're meeting them for the first time, you're expected to give two kisses, so one on either cheek. Um, and I do see often a lot of expats being a little bit awkward, but you just have to go in there and own it. And it's dos besos like that. And an interesting fact is that the majority of Spanish people, as it's such a religious country, will, be, will have a saint's day. So they'll be named after a saint. So if you do make friends with somebody local, make sure you look up when their saint's day is and send them a message to congratulate them. Another great thing about living in Valencia in particular is that there are so many bank holidays spread out across the year. So we have 14 bank holidays in total from celebrating the Kings in January after Christmas, uh, San Jose during Fias. We have Easter there that we celebrate Spain Day and the Valencian Community Day. So it's a uh, throughout these uh, bank holidays, there's so many nice things to do around the city that you can enjoy, but also it's a great opportunity to get out of Valencia and, and, and explore the surrounding areas. We're very, very lucky because there's so much on our doorstep. We don't just have beaches, we have mountains, we have countryside, we can go hiking, cycling all year round, we can even go skiing. So these are great times to make the most of uh, and get out and explore. And lastly, I would say just get out there and enjoy the local cuisine. There is so much incredible cuisine coming from Valencia. So paella, the paella is actually from here, pronounced paella. Um, and it comes from the, the local rice paddies just outside of Valencia, the Albufera. So you should definitely go out there, enjoy a paella, which uh, traditionally has rabbit and chicken. Not chorizo, as uh, so many Brits think. Um, and there's other wonderful local things, such as horchata, which is a, a, a drink made from tiger nuts that Valencians have uh, in the afternoon with a farton, which is kind of a long donut, and they dip it in and, and drink that. So it's like our equivalent of afternoon tea. It's so important to get out there and nurture a good relationship with your community. Um, I would start by attending local events. Um, it's a great way to mix with locals and meet new people. Mm -hmm. I would also say volunteer. Um, there are so many great organizations here in Valencia. One of my favorites is Amigos en la Calle. So they make Sunday dinners for the homeless in Cabanyal. It's a really great uh, organization. Uh, there's Proyectos Vivir, uh, Juntos por la Vida. So you can really get involved and give back to the community. I would also say pursue new hobbies, uh, take on new interests. Again, it's a great way to get out there, to meet new people and learn something new. And there's so much going on in and around the city. Everything from yoga or bar classes in the park, there's volleyball at the beach, uh, there's art classes, cookery classes, so you can learn to make that paella, um, and pottery, so ceramics, or Valencia is the home to ceramics, so you can just walk into your local ceramic studio and sign yourself up for classes. Um, 
And I think it's a great way, again, to meet new people and learn something new and just be a part of the community. And then lastly, I would just say it's so important to keep an open mind. Uh, you know, get out there, be social, be friendly. Don't be scared to the person sat next to you in the bar. You never know who you're going to be talking to. You could meet your next new best friend um, and, you know, make a really uh, meaningful new relationship. There are so many great ways to learn Spanish. Uh, not many Valencian locals speak English, so you'll have plenty of time to put it into practice. But my best advice is to prep before your trip. So download Duolingo. Um, it's a free, fun app, and it'll teach you the basic words. Um, also have Spanish on in the background. So listen to Spanish radio, uh, put on a Spanish series uh, on Netflix and have English subtitles. It may feel hard at first, but um, at least it's getting your ear tuned into how Spanish uh, should sound. Then I would say once you are here, enroll yourself in a course. There's so many great little language schools um, dotted around Valencia. And you can take on a 40 hour intensive course for as little as 250 euros. So it's really accessible. And I've had great reports from uh, a lot of the, the independent schools. Get out there, don't be scared. Go to your local baker, the butchers, the market, order your fruit and veg in Spanish, uh, order your, your, your food in a restaurant in Spanish if you can, and just start using it. But, so, you know, with time, you'll start to build phrases, get more confident and start to speak the language. There are also uh, intercambios uh, around the city. So that's where you exchange uh, Spanish for English. So you can pop into your local bar, um, lots of them host these intercambios. It's a great way to practice and meet new people and have fun. And then my last bit of advice for getting to grips with the language is socialize with locals. So push yourself out of your comfort zone and don't just stick to the expat community. Make friends with um, fellow Valencians. Uh, most Valencians do speak Spanish. Um, but between them, often they will speak in Valenciano, especially in the little pueblos, the towns outside of Valencia. And it's also very important to know that in the public school system, um, a, a varying percentage of Valencian is taught in school. So some subjects will be taught in Spanish and some subjects will be taught in, in Valencian. Um, and I would say that it just sounds like a mix of French Latin and Spanish rolled into one. So once you've got the Spanish, you may find that you'll start to understand um, some Valenciano along the way. You can fully embrace Valencia's artistic and lively spirit through the festivals and cultural events that happen throughout the year. There really are things going on across the city all year round. Um, I would say my top four festivals are, of course, Fayas, which happens in March over two weeks celebrating San Jose. And this city just comes alive. So, so many Valencians work all year round to prepare for this festival and hundreds of thousands of people flood into the city and the city comes alive with sound. There's daily fireworks show. You can smell the gunpowder. You can feel the ground rumbling. Um, the falleras and falleros are walking the streets and parading in their traditional dress. There's street food, there's music, there's street parties. Um, it's really, really amazing and worth doing if you haven't done it before. There's also the Mostra Film Festival, which is a wonderful um, film festival celebrating Mediterranean film. Uh, another one of my favorites is the International Music Festival held in Benicassim, which is just 40 minutes away from Valencia Center. So if you're into music, particularly dance music, um, that's definitely one for you. And lastly, I would say the Tomatina, which is held in Bunyol. Uh, again, 40 minutes from the city center. And it's this crazy, messy, sticky, um, tomato throwing um, extravaganza, but really, really fun to do at least once in, in, in your lifetime. 
if you are thinking of moving to Valencia and would like to experience all of these things, please do get in touch for more information. We also offer full end-to-end -end relocation support and we'd be happy to assist you.